What's up guys, PDC here, and I am going to be recording a Gen 7 OU game, SPL, Pokeam M motherfucking D versus Black Oblivion. Uh, this is for, I believe, AIM is on the Cryos, and Black Oblivion is on the Classiest? I think, I think he's on the Classiest. Um, yeah, he's on the Classiest, yep, he's on the Classiest. So... We're going to be seeing, uh, of course, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting team choice with Lando. Lando, and uh, that's the only one they have actually. In, uh, that's the only one they have in common. So that's actually pretty dope. Um, both pretty interesting teams, leaning on more of a defensive side. Uh, Black Oblivion's is a bit more offensive, momentum based. Uh, Ames seems to be. He actually is. I mean, it's going to be U-turn Lando plus Metacham. So, I mean, that's interesting. Um, Zygarde kind of looks like a pain. Not going to lie. I mean, although physically defensive, Clef kind of beats Zygarde. Um, Metacham definitely looks like a pain, though, because even if you have things like... I mean, the only Mon Faster um, is going to be Torn uh, or, or Scarf Lando. I doubt it's Scarf Tar, so... I mean, Metacham is going to be really annoying. Especially in the hands of someone like AIM, who is very capable at predicting. At prediction, so, yeah. At the same time, AIM is pretty weak to Torn T, and his switch-ins to Volcanion are actually really shallow. Um, well, Volcanium may be slow, it has a shit ton of switch-ins on AIM's team. It can come in on Celestila, Clef, and Amoongus. And while it can't come in on Zygarde, Lando, or Medicham, uh, none of those Pokemon can come, on it, come in on it. And AIM only has one fire resist, and that's Zygarde. And Zygarde is going to be taking a shit ton of a steam eruption if he gets the right prediction, so... <coughs> Sorry, I'm tired as hell. Um, we see a, a Torn Lee, which makes sense. We're going to see a Fake Out from AIM, probably. Mega Evolve is pretty... Early on, uh, while I'm recording this, I'm trying to read Gulliver's Travels for an in-class discussion. Um, and as I'm flipping through the pages of this book, I realize that this book is falling apart. Um, and I just bought it yesterday. So we're going to see a fake out from AIM. Uh, we're going to see a U-turn out from the Black Oblivion, probably. Um, I don't think AIM is crazy enough to stay in and high jump kick. I think U-turn here is pretty obvious. And that looks to be an offensive torn G. As most are, it's probably Z-move. Um... So he should U-turn out here. If AIM wants to go for a high jump kick, he can go for it. Um, but I, I think I would just switch out here. You have enough switch-ins to it. Although then again, anything that AIM switches in is going to be susceptible to Volcanion. Uh, although AIM, if he goes Celesteela, he can just protect on it and see what set it is or what movie goes for. I would like to believe it'd be Specs, but I really don't know what sets these things run. Um, it could be like sub, leftovers. I... It's probably not Z-move, because Torn looks to be Z-move, so. Uh, AIM is taking his time. I think he's either thinking about the consequence of what to switch to, or the consequence of if he stays in high jump kicks, what's going to happen. Personally, I'd switch because I am a pussy, uh, but AIM is known for his, his rather impressive balls in games like these, and is generally playing on intuition, so we'll have to see what movie makes. Uh, I'm sure some people are, are cheering for the high jump kick here. And there's a switch, there's a Celestila, and there's the U-turn, so if AIM did high jump kick there, that, or, or Zen Headbutt or Ice Punch, it would have been pretty deadly. We're going to see a Protect here, pretty obviously. Um, there's no way he does anything else. Um, I don't think this thing can set up. I don't think it can. If you hear, if you hear a book, this is, this is in fact me doing, reading Gulliver's Travels. Um, I'm sorry everyone for the noise. Uh, but we're going to probably see... A Steam Eruption or Fire Blast. I mean, I wouldn't waste my Fire Blast that easily because, I mean, at any rate, you, it's very obvious that the switch-ins he has to this thing are abysmal. And wasting a Fire Blast on a Protect is not a, the best move. And Steam Eruption really doesn't have that much of a punishment, to be, to be honest, when I say that. Because just looking at his... Yeah, okay, there's a sub. Sub lefties. Great. Um, Thousand Arrows. We're going to see if this thing is just going to Steam Eruption. And... 53, no burn, no burn, but that's going to be doing more than half, and it appears that it's a choice ban Zygarde, and that means that his fire blast switch-ins are now diminished, and AIM's immediate switch there was actually really good, very good call on his part, calling it out, I don't know if Volcanion is seen that often, um, so I don't know if this is like a known set or anything, but good switch for AIM, good switch, uh, that was probably his in his best interest to switch out there. Um, he can double out here. I don't think Black Oblivion is letting this Volcanion go down, so AIM doubles out here too. 
Um, something. Uh, I would say he either doubles out to Metacham or he doubles out to a Rocker because he wants Rocks up essentially immediately because if you get Rocks up on a team with Torn and Volcanion, you are going to be able to apply the necessary offensive pressure with the rest of your team. Of course, there's a chance of Lando literally just coming straight in on Lando, um, or no, Torn coming straight in on Lando and defogging them away and scaring Lando at the same time, but I think you want Rocks here, so I think it's either double to an offensive Mun or you double out to... Okay, so there's a thousand arrows. 34. Damn. Okay. Um, I guess Aim just went for it because he doesn't have a great switch to it. That's pretty fair. Um, doing 34 damage, I'm not sure what the calc is on that. Uh, I think it might... It's not fully invested defensively. I, I can definitely tell you this. It's not fully invested uh, defensively. So, this might be Scar. I mean, Aim is playing pretty well here. I think I would have switched out if I were him. Uh, not sure to what, but I would have probably aimed for something else. There's the Lando. So, Aim is going to be probably switching out here again. I don't know what his switch into this thing is. Probably, yeah, there's his own Lando. Yep. We're going to see if he goes for U-turn. Yep, U-turn out. No helmet. U-turn uh, doing nine. Is that damage for... I, I don't know. We'll see the item or not. I mean, I guess the U turns out to. Uh, I mean, this is, this might be Scarf Lando if it's not already Scarf Lando. So he can get hazards here with Clef or Pharaoh. Um, if this is Scarf bulky Scarf Lando, which it very well might be, uh, if he wants to, he can aim for a rock, uh, rocks up or spikes up. Clef is fine too. Uh, I'd imagine that this is not going to be an SD land or anything like that. It's probably either Scarf or just Bulky Rocks. Uh, I'm sure Black Oblivion is calcing the U-turn damage right now, but he's actually going really, really low on the timer. And there's the Furrow Thorn. Here's the hazards. We see no item on that Lando, uh, unless this Lando is Z-Move, which I guess it's possible. Um, it's possible it's Z-Move. But we're probably going to see a hazard trade here. Or not a hazard trade. We're going to see a hazard go up with Furrowthorn. And there's the rock. So it looks like it's going to be 4 tax Scarf Lando on Black Oblivion's side with Defog, maybe. Um, then we're going to see a switch up to Volcanion. And we're going to see a rock from Clef. Uh, I wonder if Clef has any text to beat out the sub Volcanion. Because if he does not, then this sub Volcanion. Actually, actually, Clefable can probably stall this Pokemon out if it's specially defensive. That's the thing. Because Clef can stall this thing out as long as it has special defense. Um, because Volcanion does not have a boosting move, but I guess he decides to just go straight to Zygarde. Uh, there's a substitute, and Zygarde is going to fall to the Seam Eruption. No doubt about that. So Zygarde is going to go down, and Aim is going to probably then just apply pressure with Metacham, and hopefully he's going to predict the shit out of Black Oblivion, because that's going to be his main goal here, because at this point in the game, uh, Aim is a little behind, and he has to worry about that Volcanion 24-7. His fire resist is gone, so he can't really switch into anything anymore if it comes in on Amoongus uh, or uh, Celestia. So... I mean, Black Oblivion, I think Clefable tanks two of whatever that thing can throw at it. If he really wants to, you're, if you're a man, you go out to Titar here on the Zen Headbutt. Or actually, no, you go to Furrowthorn on the Zen Headbutt and get the chip. Uh, that's that's the real man play here, if you're if, if it's ever won. Uh, but realistically, I would probably just go out to Lando. Uh, Lando is looking not that useful in this matchup. When most of your team is already out speeding. Uh, and I guess Lando is useful. And it's useful for getting Medicham, but the whole team is just tanking Earthquake so easily. And Lando is getting worn down easily by rocks. So... I think I would go Lando here, depending on his clef spread. If his clef spread can tank a two Zen headbutts, then go for it. But if not, I would probably just go out to Lando here and be safe. Yep, there's the Lando. We'll see if Aim predicts it. He probably should go for Zen headbutt here. Oh, he goes for high jump kick. All right. Um, okay. Uh, for you turn then. I think I would have went for another move there. I don't think Zen headbutt was the optimal play. But whatever. Um, I guess he just goes for. U turn, yeah. Uh, unless he dodges a bullet punch, but nope, okay. Uh, I didn't expect, or I didn't think he would have bullet punch. So we're just going to see a Clef switch on the Lando, which Clef is not really an offensive threat or anything, it's really just there. Uh, Volcanion is a real force, but getting that Lando chip is pretty crucial. Uh, has not re revealed any moves yet, and we see the Clef switch out to the Lando, which I don't necessarily agree with. Um, 
Well, I guess he gets the free U-turn. Because he gets a sub on the U-turn here. But... Like I said, Clef should be able to... I mean, he gets a kill here. Is Actually, Clef can... Clef walls this, doesn't it? Volcanian is strong, but it doesn't have any... It doesn't really... I mean, maybe it's Sludge Wave. Maybe it's Sludge Wave. If it's Sludge Wave, then yeah. Uh, but I don't really know what... I mean, does this thing want Sludge Wave? I mean, he has T-Tar, so he doesn't need, like, HP Ice or anything. And Steam Eruption is killing Lando anyway. Uh, I think maybe it is Sludge Wave. I mean, either way, there's a substitute, and there's the Amoongus. I'm guessing, yeah, this thing is probably Sludge Wave. So that makes sense, I guess, if Clef does not wall it. Um, he goes to Amoongus, which... Um, well, that's one of his Clef counters that might just be sacrificed here. There's the Flamethrower, 74. There's the Giga Drain, which is actually going to fade the sub. Holy shit, that's that's actually incredibly surprising. I, I don't understand how that break... Well, no, you... U-turn? No, no, the U-turn did not hit the sub. Yeah, that's actually surprising. And it's either a very high roll or aim as a little investment. Uh, it's not a vest, so I mean he's just gonna kill it with flamethrower, which is fine. Um, I'm very surprised that killed there, but he's gonna go to Metacham here. Uh, Volcanium might just be sacked here un unless he feels confident in the ability for Clef to go here. Um, yeah, I mean this is probably a sack. I mean. Actually, the thing is, he kind of has to keep Volcanium because this is why I, I'm not 100% sure on that play. Because looking at his team, Black Oblivion kind of just loses the Celestia with Volcanium weakened. So he kind of needed that Pokemon there. And that's why I don't really agree with him taking free rock damage, you know, from the U turn plus the sub move. I don't really get it. And in all honesty, I don't even think he should have subbed there unless he was sure it would not break. So, I think that was not a very optimal sequence for Black Oblivion uh, at all. And he has 20 seconds left, so the timer is, is really running low for him. Uh, we're just going to see probably a yep, high jump kick. We'll see it. Oh, no, Zan Headbutt. All right, good play, good play, good play. Um, on the Furrow Thorn, but now we're going to see high jump kick. And... Um, We'll see what goes on here. Uh, I don't know if that Clef can beat the Celestiela. Maybe it's Cosmic Power. I don't know. Actually, not, maybe it is Cosmic Power Clef. That might be very possible because he goes... Okay, he goes Torn here. Um, Joey, yeah. That was a fine play. It doesn't really matter at this point. Black Oblivion, however, now is more trouble with with his with opposing Clefable. Uh, there's the Hurricane. There's the Kill. There is the Lando. This really comes down to the Clef set because Clef is going to be crucial here. If it's Cosmic Power Stored Power, then Black Oblivion wins. But Celestial is 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 still a a pain in the ass. Okay, so that's taking twenty seven. Uh, we'll see if it's Cosmic Power or not here. Uh, it's revealed no moves, so I don't have much of a sample size to go off of. I'd imagine it's going to be Cosmic Power. I, I really could not imagine any other set. Because isn't that like the one true Clefable set now? Like the one true Morty, but like the one true Clefable is like Cosmic Power now. So I think he should probably just end up going for it if he has it. Okay, he's T-Wave. Great. Um, that is not the one true Clef. Why are you T-Wave and fucking Aura? And not, why are you T-Wave and Sun and Moon? Why are you both T-Wave and Sun and Moon? What? Is this a thing? Am I this detached from the metagame that I don't know that this is a thing? There is a defog, um, which I guess he kind of had to do at this point. I would go for Z Fly. I or will knock off first. Yeah. Um, there's a double T wave. Yeah. Is this 2016? Because why are y'all motherfuckers using T wave Clef? I don't, like I don't get it. What's wrong with you? This is a shitty move. In, in Sun and Moon. Um, go for Z Hurricane and hope for the best. Uh, there's regular Hurricane. 48. Holy shit. Clef gets rocks, um, but he's confused, so a Defog here might just be it. We know that that Lando is... Yep, there's a Defog. Makes it a million times easier for Black Oblivion now. Uh, I am not... Okay, he goes Clef, yeah. And there's the Edge. Zoe... Okay, he gets the crit, so this is a four soft boiled here. But, 
I mean, I guess this is the one time where it's useful for the paralysis, but... Okay, so there's a soft-boiled. He can Moonblast here and, and hope for para if he really wants to, but he's going to go out the T-Tar instead. Uh, equally is dead. Oh, there's the para. There is the para. So T-Tar gets a free edge here. Yep, Clefable is dead, and now it comes down to Celestiela hopefully winning the game, but now with the defog, it looks like it's not exactly probable. Because Celestial has both of its moves, which I assume it's it's Heavy Slam th Flamethrower. Both of its moves... Okay, that's game. There's Leech, but that's game. That is 100% game. Just just kill it. Uh, Celestial should finish off this team with ease. Yep, there's Edge, and Lando is, is not going to be able to win this. So, Pokemon MD loses to Black Oblivion. Um, the Cryos are getting... BTFO by the classiest, which is absolutely surprising as fuck. Um, but I have faith in the classiest as usual. Uh, Black Oblivion, I think he, yeah, he played pretty good. Uh, I, I don't know if I would have let Volcanion take that damage there, but uh, it really doesn't matter at this point anyway. So good enough plays. Yeah, pretty quick game too. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know. If, I'm surprised Giga Drain broke. I don't really know how much bulk you would run on Volcanium, but I think you would run enough where you would avoid the Giga Drain breaking from the sub. So that's kind of an, an interesting uh, take on it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.